know, so this is a Aretha Diva tribute to Aretha Franklin. I'm sure many of you have an idea of what a diva is. We all seem to have a different definition. I didn't hear what that was. I don't know what that was. But I'll take it as a compliment. Okay. So there's an official definition of diva. It's an Italian word. It actually means famous female opera singer. And colloquially, it means a lot of different things, but according to Google, a self-important person who is temperamental and difficult to please. <laughs> so, Aretha Franklin is one of the few people in the world who can embody both definitions faithfully. As some of you may know, she did step in for Pavarotti on 10 minutes notice at the Grammys in 1998 and sang Nessim Dorma when he was too sick to do so. And in terms of the diva antics, just to name a few of them, many people don't know that Aretha refused to fly. She hasn't been on a, hadn't been on a flight since 1984. Frustrated festival goers, festival promoters all over the world. Hundreds of millions of dollars lost. She didn't care. She took the bus everywhere she went. Every performance, she was on that bus. As Miss Franklin said herself, I have been everywhere on this bus. Oh, oh. Okay. That, that's not dirty. <laughs> I don't know what you're no, thinking no, about. No. Okay. Also, like many singers, it's not really that much of a diva antic, but she absolutely refused to perform anywhere where there's air conditioning. A lot of singers, I have an issue at work at the counter. Yeah. A lot of singers won't do it, but she took it so far as to stand up from the gig at the Apollo one night and say, I feel air, and walk off stage. In addition to that, she demanded at every show to be paid in cash. Not, yeah, before she went on stage, not only did she demand to be paid in cash, but she demanded that the cash be paid to her directly, and she sit there and count every dollar bill. <laughs> Not only that, but she would then put it in her purse and insist on bringing out the purse everywhere she performed. So if you... It wasn't for her lipstick. If you see a performance of Aretha, a live performance, look closely, that purse is there. It's there. It's really full. And uh, so this next song we're going to do, actually, uh, funnily enough, even though Aretha did have 112 Billboard charting hits, a record uh, for a woman, possibly a record for any artist, um, she only had two number ones, Respect and this next song, which she performed with George Michael. Ah, another one then. Oh, thanks, Tribute. <laughs> oh, no. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> That would be Griva Devo. It doesn't have the same ring to it, but he did say in an interview once that when he recorded this in studio with Aretha, uh, what he remembered most about it was not her singing, but the fact that she could sit on one side of the studio and throw the bones from her bucket of ribs to the other side of the room and nail the garbage can every single time. Conclusion, she, she had a second chance. That was a plan B, basketball. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome to the 80s. 